Oh, excuse me, sir. Do you have a nickel? Perhaps a dime? Listen, I'm sorry to bother, but I am homeless. I was just wondering if you had any change to spare. I mean, I don't really got anything that you would. Um, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not really in any of a better situation than you are. To be frank, I might have a resume, but after that, not, not much else. So you tell me more if you care to share. No, I don't think I'd be interested in that. All right, then. Have a great... Well, hold on a sec. Do you want, like, this chocolate bar? Ah, that, that would be greatly appreciated. Ah, but no, no. You need it. You're hungry. Uh... To yourself. So, uh, you, you haven't even heard what I was gonna. Just, just no. I I know what you're gonna talk about right now, right? You're gonna talk about how hard life is. You're gonna talk about what you've been through, and then you're gonna talk. You're gonna tell me about how it's gonna get better, or how I should go somewhere else. Or I, I don't want to hear any of that. I just want to take shelter from the mist. That's all. I was just gonna say, you should go back home to your parents. What? what where did you? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back there. It's not home, all right? It's better than this. You have family. You have friends. You have food. And most importantly, you have a home. <laughs> it's not a home. It was just like a house I lived in. And when it came to like food, sure it was there, but we got it like from the grocery store. And whenever we ate, our parents were just mad at one another. And there was just this like constant tension with everybody there. Like it was, it was, it was just a house I lived in. It wasn't an actual home. I, I, I don't belong there at all. Anyways, I'm uh, you know, I'm gonna go get a job or something like that. So. <coughs> What kind of job? Any. As long as it puts food on the table or the floor. <laughs> so are you one of those people who like has a pet rock? I mean, uh, I, I had one myself. Uh, I even named it. And uh, speaking of names, I never heard about yours. Uh, and, and so. Uh, I was just, when I was just thinking about that, um, I wanted to say sorry about how I treated you earlier. You know, I got a lot of going on in my mind right now, and uh, you know, opening up to people is a little bit scary. So, what's your name? Ah, oh, that's okay. Uh, I'm Ed Cd. Uh, Oscar. N nice to meet you. My pet rock's name was uh, Jason. Oh. Well. Oh. This is Schmetterling. Ah. You mind if I ask, like, uh, where'd you work in the past? Uh, well, I started off studying law and accounting. Uh, I eventually worked with Stella's Law Firm for a few years, and I just decided everything was mine. So I wanted to move on to programming. Uh, so I took an online course at MIT, became a computer programmer. It was all right, but then I eventually went on to become a fitness instructor. So after uh, you know tell, you telling me that story, can I ask uh, how how'd you end up here? <sighs> well, because <sighs> of this, <laughs> now I'm just a homeless storyteller. Sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah. Ah, well, <sighs> it's okay. I mean, things in life happen for a reason. The goal in life is to be happy, right? Well, my uh, family never had the greatest finances for me. Uh, they fought a lot about it, and you know, I decided to leave. You know, maybe I'd make their lives better. And um, you know, I really want to do this. I, I think I can. I really want to, and I think I'll make it. I think I'll make it big. Well, what does it mean to make it? Finding love, 
uh, making money, being happy, and uh, you know what will make me happy is getting this job. I'll be able to provide for myself, I'll be able to make money, and I, that's really what it means to me, to, as you, to what you were asking for. That's what it really means to win big here. Are you sure this job is going to get you that? Absolutely. Uh, and I want to ask, like, what are your plans? And what do you want to do? Do you want to make, make it big? But I have made it. I've made it big. I'm happy. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot that you've been in countless amazing jobs, you've done, you've made lots of money, and you have so much success behind your back. No, I mean, I am happy. To me, that's making it. I mean, I was just like you before. Before I got this injury, that is. I defined my success as materialistic goods and the idea of living luxuries while working a high-paying job. Even if it wasn't something I'm interested in, I think society tries to commercialize success and glorifies the idea of doing something you hate. Being on the grind until you do land that job or you do land that apartment. That's the person who almost became a millionaire. But I'm serious. Do what makes you happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy here. Uh, telling stories, listening to people, helping people. I mean, if becoming a financial analyst is what makes you happy, do it because of that. Not because of the success. Not because of how much money it makes. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go figure out what to say for my next interview. Uh, well, I'll see you around. Hey, uh, good luck, Oscar. Good luck. Well, I guess it's just us, Merlin. That's a good rock. <laughs> I wonder what NMCD and Smash Line are up to. I'm sorry? Oh, no, I was just thinking out loud. No worries, it's nothing important. Oh, okay, alright. Do you want to start the interview? Sure. You know, Oscar, I'm, I'm very impressed with you. I know your resume is not the strongest, but based on the articles you've written, I think you'd be a great fit for the team. Oh, thank you for saying that, sir. Uh, and even though I'm really young for this job, I think I'd be a very valued member as your journalist intern. You know, Oscar, I, I see that you've worked really hard in your life. I'm, I'm very impressed with you. You know, a studio apartment that one of my former colleagues worked in, he retired. He's not using it anymore. Would you like to live there? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, I'd very much like to do that. I won't let you down. I made it, man. What? I, we I always knew you could do it. Thanks. The recruiter said I was so good as a journalist that he gave me the job right away. Oh my goodness, we knew he could make it. Thank you so much, guys. I'm really excited for this moment. You know, I, I know my salary isn't very large right now, but as soon as I start publishing more articles, it's projected to grow exponentially. Good luck. Come visit us sometime. Yeah. Uh, I'll miss you guys really well. Well. This room, it feels empty. I mean, I love the environment here, but there's something missing about it. As if it were uh, so close, yet so far. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but it's definitely missing. I'm jovial. I'm happy. Lonely and missing something important to me. I just wish that. I, I, I just wish that. Oscar can manage by himself. He's capable, but I hope he's okay. That they were uh, here with me. Father, NMMCD, Smetcherling, everybody. I made it, but... I made it, but... I can only hope that Oscar will be happy. Why can't I just be content? Why can't I just be happy? I guess that I can relish in life simply because... 
I guess life is nothing but burdensome because... I made it! I made it. 